right. If in the meantime, I ask Randy some questions. You can wait. People are filling in. For the oh, perfect. Yeah. So I may be working with some of your. This is live, by the way, to everybody. Oh, no, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to ask him what he drives or anything like that. <laughs> um, no, uh, I, I may be working in the near term with probably your far downstream direct reports, but we recently had some demonstrations of Teams on Fire with some, um, uh, I don't even know what to call the teams, but but through Mario and our connections with Life365, we, we had some really powerful demonstrations of some capabilities of the Teams platform in a healthcare space. Um, but I, I am excited about where to take that. And I was probably going to talk about some of those things during the podcast, because from my point of view, you know, um, what Kent and Life365 provide is phenomenal um, as a platform. But the real issue and growth in this field, at least in my perspective, it's scalability. You know, the, the CPT codes for, for this kind of stuff, ultimately, it'll cover the device cost, but unless you really, really scale up some of these RPM programs, um, you're never going to forget about necessarily profitability, but to hit net zero, zero for, for the labor demands of these RPM programs, you really do need to have you know, 50 or 100 patients per nurse practitioner or per PA or, or per physician. So uh, I'm, I'm particularly interested in, in your work um, Randy, just because figuring out a way to make these programs scalable is, is huge. And I think it's the next step in a lot of remote patient monitoring. Yeah, I don't disagree. And I think that's uh, just looking at our agenda for the talk today. I think we'll talk a little bit about that. But to your point, the, the, the scalability, the, the reason Microsoft and Life365 are really working together is Life365 brings the scalability of how do you get the devices to the to the end patient and get them wired up and connected and get the, the, the data flowing and all that kind of stuff. And then what Microsoft provides is a platform to land that data, to, to, to activate that data. And, and that platform provides a ton of automation around that activation so that you can scale you know, a smaller set of caregivers to a larger patient uh, population because much of uh, the activation that needs to be done, whether it's, you know, looking for outliers or, or, you know, managing workflow or whatever can be automated in the platform based on the data as it comes in or analytics of the data, of the data you know, over time or whatever. And so it's a big part of why, you know, Microsoft and Life365 have have decided to work together because we bring the scalability of the data platform and you know all of that kind of stuff and they bring that scalability of um, you know the devices and their connections and their logistics and all those kinds of things so I absolutely I'll give you a hard time Randy but from what I've seen I, I the best analogy I could give to it is only Microsoft could do this I when I first saw the demonstration of the teams on fire platform, it was as if you guys were building cruise ships before you had decided on which routes or courses they were gonna take as yet. Because with some of the demonstrators, they were asking questions such as, um, you know, what were the use cases and, and where, you know, would this be in the ambulatory space or the inpatient space or the RPM space? And what are the concerns on the, on the provider end? And, and we're happy to provide the answers to, to that end, because as you mentioned, I think Life365 and Ken's group is providing the platform. Microsoft is providing the scalability. And sort of the last piece is, is I don't want to say automating, but at least streamlining the workflows. And, and those are the kinks we're kind of working through right now. But with the tools, I believe your team makes available, I think the gap is going to close very, very fast. I'm excited about the field. Yeah, and the teeth of fire that you've seen is really just a vision demonstrator. To you know, we'll, we'll talk about this. I think a little more during the webinar. 